gonna have some fun. Once you start your video smarts, you're sure to learn a ton. We'll learn some names, play some games, travel here and there. Learn our visit and you'll be best friends with the teaching teddy bear. Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to a fun new way to learn video smarts. I am a special part of Video Smarts because I'm the Video Smarts teacher, and I'm here to help you learn. You'll also have a special friend along who wants to learn just as much as you do. His good friends call him Teachin' Teddy. Hi, Teddy. Hi there. I sure am excited about using my Video Smarts with you and all my new friends. I hope you don't mind the mess in my playroom, but this is my favorite room, and maybe we can use some of these things to help us learn. And to help you and Teddy learn, We'll use our Video Smarts computer. Let's first make sure our computer is turned on. This switch should be in this position to turn it on. Make yours look like this. You'll be asked questions, and you may answer by pushing one of the buttons on your computer. Now watch your TV. When questions are asked, you will find the right answer in one of these spaces. If the right answer is in this space, you'll push this button on your computer. When you hear that sound, you should push the button to give your answer. You will have a small amount of time to answer. If you do not answer in time, you'll hear this sound. Let's try it now. This is your first question. Which space is Teach and Teddy standing in? I am in this space. Find Teach and Teddy again. I'm in this space. This is easy and fun. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, P, W, X, Y, and Z. If you sung along with me, I'll bet that you know the letters of the alphabet. Yay! Hi, Teddy. What are you doing? Oh, I'm playing with my letter blocks. Hmm, it looks like you're having fun. But tell me, Teddy, do you know what the letters of the alphabet stand for? Oh, sure. Letters stand for, let me see, uh, letters. Hmm. Well, I'll help you, Teddy. Each of the letters of the alphabet stands for a different sound. And some of the letters of the alphabet can even have more than one sound. Hello. Hi, Mr. Mayor. You surprised us. Hi, everybody. Of course I surprised you. That's exactly what I had in mind to do. Somebody said letters, and since I'm the mayor of Alphabet Town, I thought I'd drop right in. Why don't we go outside today, and I'll help you learn some more things about letters. Okay, guys. I'm finished playing with my letter blocks. Let's go outside and play. Good idea! Today I'm going to teach you that letters have sounds and that there are two kinds of letters in the alphabet, vowels and consonants. Now tell me, Teddy, what do you think of when I make the sound of the letter O? Oh, I think of the time I got into trouble. One time I went out to play and left one of my toys in the yard and then it rained. The next morning my toy was all wet and my father said the O oh sound. Oh no. And my mom said, Oh no. And I said, Uh oh. Your parents were speaking sounds, Teddy. Oh boy, were they. My mom and dad kept saying, Oh no. And I kept saying, Oh boy. Oh well, can I ask you something, Mr. Mayor? Does every letter have a sound? A very good question, Teddy, and the answer is absolutely yes! Every letter has a shape, every letter has a name, and no two letters ever look the same. But do you know the reason? Letters are around, why they were invented, why we write them down, this is the reason letters can be found. Every single letter means a different sound or sound. Every single letter means a different sound or sound. Sometimes in one letter, different sounds are found. When you read a letter, a letter sound is heard. Put the sounds together and you will make a word. This is the reason 
letters can be found. Every single letter means a different sound or sounds. Now that you know that letters stand for sounds, everyone, let's see what these sounds are. As I said before, there are two kinds of letters in the alphabet, vowels and consonants. Uh, let me try. Vowels and con... con... Consonants. Consonants. I understand. There are two other names for the letters of the alphabet besides each letter name. Are the consonants easy to learn? They're so easy to learn, Teddy. We can even sing a song about them. If a letter is not a vowel, you could be confident it's a consonant. If a letter is not a vowel, you could be confident it's a consonant. If a letter is not a e i o u, <laughs> consonant describes that letter. It's true. B C D F G are consonants. H J K L M are consonants. N P Q R S T B W X Y Z are consonants. If a letter is not a vowel, you could be confident it's a consonant. If a letter is not a vowel, you can be confident it's a consonant. Now that we've seen the consonants, let's see if we can find one as an example. Can you try me? Please, please. I'm a B. Of course, B. You are a consonant. You know, Teddy, the next time you see the letter B, you may want to ask it what it's doing in a bright blue basket. I know some other bees that are brave and other bees that are badly behaved. There's a bee at the beginning of the word bike. So now we'll tell you what the letter B sounds like. The letter B is a consonant and it sounds like b as in bat, ball, basket and bike. Let me see if we can sound out these letters. Come on, everyone. Let's do it together. The letter B is a consonant, and its sound is B. The letter M is a consonant, and its sound is M. And the letter P is a consonant, and its sound is P. Wow, Teddy, and boys and girls, that was fantastic. And how did you make the sounds of the letters B, M, and P? By putting my lips together. B, M, P. Here's the Alphabet Town plumber. He's here to take a peek at our pipes. He has a few things in his pocket. This is a pipe cutter, some paste, a pail, a pencil, a pair of ping pong paddles, a pickle, a pizza, and the letter P. And this is his pet parrot who repeats everything he says. Pass me the paste. Pass me the paste. Pass me the pail. Pass me the pail. Pass me the ping pong paddles. Pass me the ping pong paddles. This is getting pathetic. Pass me the pizza. Find the space that has the consonant with the m mm sound, as in the word moose. This is the consonant M, and it has the m mm sound that you hear at the beginning of words like monkey, mouse, and monster. Here is the word bake. It's made up of four letters. Pick the space that has the word bake with the white letter that has the b sound. This is the word bake. The first letter in the word bake is the consonant b. It has the b sound. Find the consonant that has the p sound as in pickles.
This is the consonant P. Its sound is P, as in pizza, ping pong paddles, and parrot. I've got those. Are there any more? There sure are, Teddy. There are the sounds of the consonants D, J, L, N, T, and R. To make those sounds, you use your tongue and the top of your mouth. Uh, you mean like la, 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 la. D, J, D, J, D, J. T, N, R, T, N, R, T, N, R. That kind of reminds me of that group that was really popular in the 50s, the La Ja Duty Race. J, 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 L, L, T, T, N, N, R, R. D, D, J, J, L, L, T, T, N, N, R, R. Here's a lamb, and she's licking a jar of jam. Lamb and licking begin with the consonant L and the L sound. Jar and jam begin with the consonant J, and the consonant J has the J sound. Hey, Teddy, your name begins with the T sound, and my name, Roger, begins with the R sound. What consonants do you think our names start with? Let's see. Roger. Roger. R. R. Is that the sound of the consonant R? Yes, it is, Teddy. Now sound out your name just like you did with mine, and tell us the sound of the first letter in your name. Teddy. 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 T. T. My name starts with a T sound, and that's the sound of the consonant T. Oh, very good, Teddy. You just sounded out the first letter in your name. Now listen to these words that start with the consonant N and see if you can tell me what the consonant N sounds like. Here we go. Net, nickel, nine, noodle. Net, nickel, nine, noodle. Net, nickel, nine, noodle. It sounds like the letter N has the N sound. That's right, Teddy. The consonant N has the N sound. Now, here's the alphabet town dog. He has the D sounding consonant in his name. D, as in Dan, the dog, who barks differently, as you will see. Find the consonant that has the N sound. This is the letter N. And its sound is n. Find the word that starts with a consonant that has the d sound. This is the word dog. The first letter in the word dog is the consonant d, and it tells us to make the d sound. Darf, 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 darf. Find the consonant with the r sound. This is the consonant R, Roger, and it has the R sound. It's the same sound that your name starts with. Terrific, Teddy. Now find the consonant that has the L sound, as in lion, lump, or lamb. This is the letter L, and its sound is L. Which letter has the T sound and is the first letter in Teddy's name? This is the consonant T. It's the first letter in my name, and its sound is T. Find the consonant that has the J sound, as in the words jar, jam, jelly, or jog. This is the consonant J, and it has the J sound. Now 
it's time to learn the sounds of the consonants S, Z, and H. <laughs> Let's make these consonant sounds together. Excuse me for a minute. Hey, who's that? Oh, him? Oh, that's my friend Sidney the Snake. He's the Southside Hissing Champion. Come on, Roger, you're just kidding me. Oh, I'm not kidding you, Teddy. <laughs> Sidney really won first prize. You're just telling me this so I can learn the sound of the consonant S. This is also true, Teddy, but Sidney the Snake is a champion hisser. Oh, sure. And what did he win? A free trip to Syracuse. See, Sidney? Okay, Teddy, now I'll help you with the Z sound and the consonant Z. This is the animal whose name begins with the Z sound. She's a zebra, and the first letter in her name is Z. Some other words that have the sound of z and the consonant z are zipper, zero, and zigzag. Now tell me something, Teddy. What do you put on your head when it's really cold outside? A zebra. Oh, come on, Teddy. Be serious. Okay. When it's really cold outside, I put a warm hat on my head. That is a good thing to do. And if you listen to the word hat, you can tell it begins with the Huh sound and the consonant H. Ha. 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 Now I know that the consonant H has the ha huh sound. Right again. Now find the consonant that has the s sound. This is the consonant S, whose sound is here is a donkey, a horse, a camel, and a zebra. Find the animal whose name begins with the z sound. This is the animal whose name begins with the z sound. She is a zebra, and the first letter in her name is the consonant z. Find the consonant that has the <sighs> sound as in hit, help, or happy. This is the consonant H, and this is a hat. The sound of the letter H is H. Huh. Give me an F, give me a V, give me an F, give me a V, F, V, F, V, F and V are our dream. This is our funny football team. Yay! The sound of the letter F is F, and the sound of the letter V is V. Words like five, fall, and finger begin with the consonant F and the F sound. Words like victory, vanilla, and vine begin with the consonant V and the V sound. How are these sounds made? Your teeth touch your lip to make the sounds of F and V. Let's try it together. F, V, F, V. Excellent! That leaves only a few consonants left to learn. Quack, 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 quack. Wuh, 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 wuh. This is a Q and this is a W. You can make the sounds of the letters Q and W by rounding your lips. The sound of the consonant Q is qu, and the sound of the consonant W is w. Let's see if we can think of some words that have the consonant W and the w sound. I've got one. Word has the consonant W that sounds like w. Warble. I warble to get people's attention. Warble has the letter W that has the w sound. Water. I swim in water. The word water has the letter W and the W sound. Now that we've learned the sounds of the consonants F, 
V, Q, and W, let's see if we can pick them out. Find the consonant that has the th sound. This is the consonant F, and its sound is... Find the hand whose fingers are forming the consonant with the V sound. This hand is making the V letter, and it is a consonant with the V sound. Find the consonant that has the W sound, as in the word water. This is the consonant with the W sound, and it's the letter W. Find the consonant that has the Q sound, as in quiet or queen. This is the letter Q. It's a consonant, and its sound is qu. Well, we are just about finished with the consonants. What's left are the consonants C, K, G, X, and Y. C and K say k, k. G says g, g. Y says y, y. X says X. C and K say k, k. G says g, g. Y says y, y. X says X. Let's look at these consonant letters and try to make their sounds together. K, k, g, g, X. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for your entertainment, Cagney the Coyote will be shot from a cannon and land on a cushion next to the cotton candy. I can't land without a carefully placed cushion underneath me. Can somebody please locate the cushion cap before I crash? Oh, whoa! Crashing into cotton candy. <laughs> it could have been a calamity. I'm Godfrey the Goose. And I'm Ginger, who says G a lot. This is the letter G. It's one of the letters of the alphabet that can have more than one sound. Godfrey has a G in his name, and one sound of the consonant G is G. You can say it too. G, G, as in Godfrey. G, G. As in Goose, Godfrey the Goose. And Ginger has a soft G in her name. J, J, as in Ginger. In fact, she has two soft G's in her name. Ginger, Ginger. What about some words that start with X, K, and Y? The word X-ray has the consonant X with the X sound. Kites and kitties begin with the consonant K. And the consonant K has the K sound. Kiki the kangaroo, the keyboard king, also has the K consonant and the K sound in his name. The consonant Y has the Y sound. Can you think of some words, Teddy, that have the Y sound in them? Yes, I can. Hey, the word yes has the Y sound in it. And I thought of another one, too. Yellow. That's very good, Teddy. Now let's see what you remember about consonant sounds. Find the consonant that has the k sound. This is a consonant C. And one of the sounds it can stand for is k, as in Cagney the Coyote. Find another consonant that can stand for the k sound, as in king or kite. This is the letter K, and it has the K sound, just like at the beginning of the word kangaroo. Find the consonant that can have more than one sound. This is the consonant G, and it has more than one sound. It has the G sound, as in Godfrey or Goose. It can also have the J sound, as in ginger or gentle. 
Find the consonant that has the y sound, as in the beginning of the words yes and yellow. This is the consonant Y, and it has the y sound. One last question, Teddy. Find the consonant that has the X sound, as in the word X-ray. This is the letter X, and its sound is X. You're doing very well, Teddy. Now you and all your friends know some of the sounds of the consonants. When you see those letters and can make the sounds of those letters, you will be reading those letters. Reading? Reading? That's neat. I'm going to learn all the vowel and consonant sounds so that I can read my own books. Then you can read to me, Teddy. You can read to both of us. It sounds like you'll be reading letter sounds very soon, Teddy. Now that you and all your friends have learned some of the consonant sounds, I think I'll head back to Alphabet Town. When you see letters of the alphabet, practice making their sounds just like we did today. I'll be back again to help you learn other letter sounds. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. I can hardly wait to learn more letter sounds so I can learn to read. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. If you sing along with me, I'll bet you will learn the letters of the alphabet. A as in apple, B as in boy, C as in cat, D as in dog, E as in egg, F as in frog, G as in goat. H as in hog, I as in ice, J as in jam, K as in king, and L as in lamb. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, and T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. If you sing along with me, I'll bet you will learn the letters of the alphabet. And as in moon, N as in nine. O as in orange, P as in pine, Q as in queen, R as in roll, S as in sun, T as in troll, U as in umbrella, V as in vanilla, W as in witch, X as in x-ray, Y as in yam, Z as in zebra, sing along, sing along now, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, Y and Z. If you sung along with me, 